Hello students, welcome to Sorosa's classes. In this video, I will be solving some of the geology questions from JAM 2018. Now, in the previous video, I have solved up to question number 24. So, in this video, I will so start solving from question number 25. Now, here, the question is, conglomerates are commonly deposited in which of the following? Now, this conglomerates, they are the coarse grained clastic sedimentary rocks. They are the coarse grained clastic sedimentary rocks. Clastic sedimentary rocks that is composed of a substantial fraction of that is composed of substantial fraction of rounded to subangular gravel sized class rounded to subangular subangular gravel sized clust example granules pebbles boulders etc that have larger than larger than 2 millimeter in diameter now these conglomerates they are commonly deposited in alluvial fans which are a fan or cone shaped fan or cone shaped deposit so they are the fan or cone shaped deposit of sediment crossed and built up by streams of sediments crossed and built up by stream built up by streams now at the mountain fronts at mountain fronts this alluvial fans they merge the alluvial fans merge to form great plains and these two environments they are associated with the thickest deposits of conglomerates so the answer of this question is alluvial fans, that is conglomerates are commonly deposited in alluvial fans. Now let's move to the next question. Now in this next question, we have to match the mineral deposits that are given in group 1 with the corresponding Indian occurrences in group 2. The first one is iron. The mineral deposit of iron, they are among the following in all these uh, uh, places of group 2 the iron deposits are usually found in Hospit Karnataka so the first combination is P4 similarly uranium deposits are usually found in Navra Pavar Jharkhand so with uranium it is 3 manganese deposits are usually found in Balaghat Madhya Pradesh so R2 and the remaining one that is barite is usually found in Magma Pet Andhra Pradesh so the correct combination is P4, Q3, R2 and S1 so the correct answer of this question is option number D 
Now we will move to the next question that is which of the following process is responsible for formation of cyanogenic nickel copper sulfide ore in gabbro neurotic rocks. Now the correct answer of this question is liquid immiscibility. Now with liquid immiscibility we mean that two liquids that are not mixing with each other for example oil and vinegar oil and vinegar they do not mix with each other so liquid immiscibility means they do not mix with each other now in geology this liquid immiscibility it is a process that is responsible for formation of that is responsible for the formation of ore deposits now what happens is that because of this liquid immiscibility that not mixing of this liquids it gives rise to segregation segregation or separation even before crystallization even before crystallization so the separation uh, takes place due to this liquid immiscibility and then this separated liquid part it would result in formation of ores now it is not possible it is not certain that the separation will necessarily be pure in fact so it is not necessarily be pure but they can be rich in the certain kinds of minerals so this is the method of formation of liquid immiscibility and this formation of cyanogenic nickel copper sulfide ore and gabbro neurotic rocks they follow the same process of liquid immiscibility